In this video, we're gonna take a look at the pinout of the 7447 decoder chip. And this video is meant to be as somewhat of a prelude to my other video, which was the actual building uh, of this circuit on the breadboard. So hopefully by watching this first, you guys can get a better uh, sense of uh, of the connections that you're gonna be making later. So as you can already see, I've already drawn the 7447 chip as well as the seven segment display and our four input switches here. And uh, we'll start off with the most obvious, which is uh, VCC and ground. So your VCC is gonna be connected to your uh, power source, in this case, the five volt power source. And of course your ground is going to be connected to ground. Next we're going to take a look at our input side. And for our inputs we have uh, four inputs A, B, C, and D. A being our least significant bit and uh, up to D which is our most significant bit. And we're going to connect these directly to uh, A, B, C, and D as seen here. A just goes directly to A so we'll connect pins uh, 7 to A, uh, B goes to B, so that's pin 1 to B, and then pin C to C, and finally pin D to D. We're going to also connect the switches to power as well. So all of these switches will be connected to your 5 volt uh, power supply as well. Okay, so how this is going to work is when you uh, flip on the switch, you're going to get a high signal on your input, on your inputs uh, A, B, C, and D. Let's take a look at what happens when the switch is off. So when the switch is off, uh, these pins do not see any connections, okay? So it's going to be left floating. And to uh, remedy that, we have to tie pins A, B, C and D to ground. And we're gonna do that with our one kilo ohm resistor, okay? So we'll tie pin A to ground using our 1K ohm resistor. And we'll do the same things for pins B, C, and D. Okay, so next we're gonna make the connections to our seven segment display. Since the seven segment display is comprised of just individual LEDs, each one's gonna have its own a current limiting resistor. So when you connect your pins to the seven segment display, each one's gonna need its own current limiting resistor. And in my case, I'm using a 470 ohm resistor. So we'll go ahead and connect a uh, current limiting resistor to each individual pin. Okay, so all of these are gonna be 470 ohm resistors and we're just gonna connect it to its corresponding pins on the seven segment display. So we'll go ahead and connect pin A to A. We'll connect pin B to B. We'll connect pin C to C. Connect pin D to D. And finally we'll connect, well not finally, but we still have pins F and G up here. Pins F will connect here and pins G will connect there. Now the next one's your common uh, anode or common cathode. If you have a common anode, uh, you'll connect it to power, which in my case, uh, I had a common anode seven segment display. So these would go to our five volts. And if you have a common cathode dis uh, seven segment display, instead of connecting this to five volts, you would just connect both of these to ground instead. Okay, so, so far we've covered all the seven segment display, our input switches, A, B, C, and D. And what we have left is just LT, RBO, and RBI. So LT stands for lamp test. And uh, what it does is when you have all of your seven segment display, if you connect this to ground, uh, since it is active low, if you connect this to ground, all of your seven segment display pins should light up. And this serves as a test to see if uh, your seven segment display is functioning properly. Okay, so, so if you're not gonna be testing this, you could just tie this straight to power, to, 
to your 5 volts. Okay? And uh, RBO and RBI stands for ripple blanking output and ripple blanking input and they're used for if you're working with multiple 7 segment displays. So if you're only working with uh, one display, you could just tie both of these to power as well. So next I'm going to go over RBO and RBI. So if you are working with multiple 7 segment displays, okay? Okay, so now suppose that we're working with uh, three seven segment displays, okay? So we're gonna be, we're gonna have three of these uh, 7447 chips. So we're gonna need three decoders. And of course we're gonna have uh, seven segment displays. So we'll have one display here, one display here, and one display here. So now suppose that I wanted to display the uh, number 12 well uh, in that case you're gonna have a zero here so you're gonna have a zero here you're gonna have a one here and you're gonna have a two here okay but when we do write numbers in real life we we don't ever use this leading zero and what um, RBO and RBI does is it suppresses the leading zero so if you were to connect um, so if you have RBO here and you have RBI here, if you connect, if you connect your output, so if you connect your RBO to the input of the next one, what it does is if this is a zero, then it pretty much suppresses that seven segment display. So that way, um, so that way the zero will not be displayed. And again, same thing here. If you connect this, if you have, if you connect this RBO, if you connect this RBO to this RBI, if for some reason you just wanted to display the number two, then both of these would be suppressed and you would just have the number two by itself, okay? Okay, so that's the pinout of the 7447 decoder chip. Uh, if you guys want this picture as a reference, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you guys want to build the actual circuit on the breadboard, I'll leave a link to that video as well.